Snake wasn't that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All right. Rick was just on the phone with him saying he told Snoopy to go up on everybody. Brick was on the phone with who saying he told Snoopy to go up on everybody. I kind of like seeing some headlines alluding to uh, Brick Baby and Wack having some type of peace or then I seen that it was allegedly, I haven't tapped on none of this, just through the headlines, I saw that it was allegedly a phone call where uh, I guess Whack, I, I might be wrong, but it say Do Sins, Brick Baby. That's the title I seen. Shout out to Domo's and Keyway Conversations. But did I seen that Brick may be claiming it was AI? He was on the phone with Snoopy on No Jumper. Okay. And he told Snoopy to go up on everybody. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I can only speak from the perspective of someone who has become somewhat familiar with Brick Baby, the way he moved, the things we've seen him do online, the things I've seen him do offline, and the way he carries himself. And if I had to gamble on the fact of whether or not that's a possibility, I would have to say and vote that. Not saying he did, but perhaps he did. I would not be surprised to find out that he did. And that's just me knowing a little bit or a lot of bit about how he moved with his social media presence. I kind of got caught up in the way he moves. Some of the things I realized he's comfortable with tolerating in the presence of white men when discussing the Crips. I personally was affected by it. I didn't appreciate it. I tried to address it personally, privately. It didn't go too well. So I attempted the second step to give him a slight taste of his own medicine or what it is that I didn't appreciate and he got so deep in his feelings that our whole connection re homieship, relationship brothership it all has ceased to exist based on a falsehood fake allegation lie cuz cuz got caught in real time on all my cripping twerking online on my mama mama and in my process of showing him how often I sit out discussing things about him that don't find him in the best light. This was the most recent thing, so I discussed it. Unbeknownst to me, the person taking the video with his daughter. I'm going to send my love to her again, baby. I would never, upon the face of this earth, play with you in any form or fashion. Your father called me at one point directly and said, he called my daughter a trans, a trans gang. And my response to him was like, on oh, hood, you know, goddamn well, I didn't know that was your daughter. I had no idea his daughter had anything to do with the content that I had actually viewed. However, I was told to me by the person that gave it to me that the caption on it said, Brick Baby twerks on a trans. So when I was trying to show him how it goes when your homie is having fun with things that don't hold you in the best of light, I laughed at him twerking told him which was a hundred percent a google percent factual ain't nothing cripping about twerking i don't care who you tw twerking for um it was along with him also claiming that wearing hoochie mama je jeans shorts and doing the daisy duke song uh uh lost two brothers in the same month which went from gun violence snoopy wrong for saying that sean tyree much love for the super chat um rest in peace to your brothers uh so out of everything that was said about him and the situation and all that, he used the fact that his daughter was the one off camera that told him, I'm going to put you on camera to show people how you really act. And he said, is that Brick Baby? That ain't Brick Baby. Cause like, well, you know my phone number. That's you call my number, Crip. If not, just, that ain't him. Yeah, but anyway, if that was really his daughter, his daughter said, I'm going to record you so I can see how you act. He said, I don't give a fuck. Ha, 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 ha. I don't know where in the world he would have he's an intelligent dude, bro. That's why I know the homie was offended by something other than me allegedly playing with his daughter. Because how would if he just think of 
How would I have any idea that was Cud's daughter, bro? There's no indication of that. It's a clip online where the captions say transgender. I love Cud's kids. Through our relationship, I don't think he ever did this with the teen daughter. But with his little baby, little butterball, little light skin, cause I, I, I've gone from we, through FaceTime, cause seeing Cub being a real hands-on father with little butterball and the mama, I've encountered Brick Baby through a range of situations, emotional dynamics, and Cub's always candid, don't hide nothing. And he kind of sometimes you will hit Cubs on a FaceTime and Cubs will be in the middle of something. He in the car driving. Baby mom in the back seat, car seat behind him. And he'll answer and invite you in to the scenario. And, you know, I got a bond with his whole little. It got to the point from me pushing up on him with little mama, the little butterball, and she pulling away to by the time I get close to her, she reaching out. You know what I'm saying? I would never play with no nigga babies. I got six of them in the grandbaby. Wouldn't tolerate it or appreciate it myself. So, I don't know why the homie would try to trick everybody and make them think I was disrespectful to his children. It just, I think he knows better than that. I think throughout my process of trying to show him why it's best to just speak highly of each other and nothing else online because we homies, regardless, I was trying to show him, you know, if I did similar to what he did, how things could go, I think he was offended. By me just acknowledging, pointing out, and clowning some of the bullshit that he had engaged in, even though all the bullshit I seen him engage in a year and a half, two years before that, I sat it out. If I had anything to put in the homie ear, it was behind the scenes, God. Oh, my mama, mama. So, yeah, that ain't Brick Baby in the chat. But you, y'all know how hard I control and do whatever, bro. Y'all see, I still didn't engage. Cut said a lot of, even from the first interview. When he talking about, I didn't catch it at first. Somebody, I think it might have been gangland then. Somebody else pointed out watching the reaction. And cuz right there in front of my face, cause I'm loaded. I don't know if he said it on the live or the rap, he was like, yeah, like something about that's my cousin. So if it's up, cuz throughout all my podcasting days, including that moment and every other moment I've ever been upon a podcast, no jumper, street TV. Drinks with Jinx, Blue Devil, American Cholo, Cal Capone, <laughs> Big Court, uh, Boss Mac, Key to Ruin them. Everywhere I've ever been, oh my mama, my mama never felt any type of, at any moment, no matter what was said, that anybody, him and him, just him, 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 and him, G face and bring baby no but I never felt like I was in a position where there was something to think about dealing with the people I was in the presence of. Never in my life. Oh my mama my, my, my. And I don't think G face or G face co-signed that sentiment of oh, itself is up over a motherfucking neighborhood handshake. Imagine that, cuz. I rode with cuz throughout the neighborhood gate when it came to the cigarette. My whole perspective was in, like Munchie say, Crip attorney, defense attorney on brick behalf. Imagine the day Spotty Face and and, 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 and folk extras tried to gain entry to No Jumper and be on that live with DW and Brick. They didn't, they weren't able to gain access to No Jumper. They ended up in the black box. Cause they went from Burbank to the original black box in Compton, cuz. It was like rush hour time. It took a long time. I thought the homies was faking me. I had kept the heat hitting them. They had popped up though. Go look at that live, bro. Brick Baby was the top of, the, of discussion. He ended up on the live, him and DW and P Nice later on. But before that, shout out to Baby Runner. Shout out to, uh, the homie Spotty Face, because extras at the time was on extra supervision. And he wasn't trying to be extra active, you know what I'm saying, with the bullshit. I don't know. Something about the reputation of the black box is different from No Jumper, because he was willing to be on camera trying to gain access to No Jumper and discuss it. But we got 
when he got to the black box, he didn't want to have no parts. And I get it. But, however, uh, Brick Baby name came up. And the homies attempted to speak on him derogatory. Somebody, please go find the clip of that moment. Send it to my DM of how defensive I was about Brick Baby's name in regards to the black box being it. And he had never, and to this day, has never been to the black box. He had a show on No Jumper called No Statements. He had it 6, 10, 12 weeks before I acquired a show on No Jumper called Bottom Line. The time before there was a such thing as Bottom Line, I also have a podcast at 3TV called Facts and Feelings. He's been a guest based upon an invitation multiple times to my platform, the largest platform I had to offer he knew he had always had a green light to be in the black box. I just know his geographical location is, it just didn't ever line up. That wasn't ever done. If I'd have pressed him, Cud would have popped up in the black box. However, he never made it there, but upon invitation and him just offering, he'd been into facts over feelings. However, no statements, I was never invited. Not a big deal. However, somewhere after 10, 15, I don't know how many episodes I landed the show. So I only did six episodes. So whatever many he had before mine, throughout my six, he ended up on bottom line twice. I never, to this day, have never got invited to be on those statements. However, I find it ironic. Shout out to the homie Tiny Devil Up. He signed all of them. I had to fight in the projects with my homie because a nigga who don't do no media, he don't do interviews, he promote artists and try to provide camera time for them to do interviews. However, we had an exchange. We was in disagreement for a short period of time. But immediately, Brick Baby had him on no statements. Just think about that. Me and Rockstar wasn't seeing eye to eye. Rockstar had him on his platform. Under the title of the guy that beat up Spider. Then a homie came on there and explained that Spider never got beat up. And regardless how I looked like when I got my shirt grabbed down. And he went on his little flurry and I hopped right back up. That's not how you beat somebody up. Shout out to the homie though. But this is just the way that I'm showing you slightly simple things. There's a lot of other moving parts. But shout out to Barry Gordy. Young Barry Gordy and Britt. They did become aware of my only issue with the way the homie was expressing it about he said something, but wouldn't specify what he said. And they did at least challenge him on that, not trying to rehatch. But I just find it highly ironic that, you know, from street TV, factual feelings, to bottom line, no jumper, because it felt comfortable, invited, and been included on all platforms that I consider up there and the black box, which was, was it up there still was openly available to him. I can reference to y'all where y'all can go see where he was represented and defended and his name was protected to other homies, reputable homies, just because I wasn't going to allow it to happen. I caught the black box's home, although he had never been there. And then just compare that to my lack of participation on any major platform that he had control of. And then he even wants y'all to believe when I finally did an interview with him with G-Face and G-Face, I asked to do it. Me and the homegirl that was there kind of see it slightly different, but he claims he didn't even invite me to that. But I ain't mad at nobody, cuz. We gonna keep this shit cracking. I ain't gonna stretch y'all out no much longer than this, man. I appreciate y'all for being here. I'm gonna get back consistent like we used to be. On my mama, mama, get this algorithm back familiar with what we doing. I know it feel kind of lonely, but I appreciate y'all for popping up when I pop up. Because, you know, sometimes you got to, because that's what Kendrick said. On oh, my mama, mama, he made, it, he made that a phrase we ain't going to never forget. On oh, my mama, mama, dead homies, daughters, lopes, everything I love and live for. My sister and my sons. Be about your marathon at all costs. Tupac of my generation, Pac was, was highly intelligent, but in our culture, street culture, 
especially his generation, intelligence was viewed as a form of weakness. How do you get the people that's really affected by, you know, what we're trying to solve involved? Yeah. Family broken, so I stand with my niggas. Showed up to every shootout, but I ran for my feelings. No time for those, I got a plan to get millions. Whoever don't agree, I see you back at the buildings. That's why I never let y'all act like a victim. That's why I never let y'all guilt my ambition. You were built for the mission. Park my colors in the back of the village. Remember Tony started washing them dishes. It was all a decision. Fast died, he took a part of me with him. Heart broken like my artery missing. Just fuck all of you niggas. Team broke, they can't harvest you nigga. Swore shit, it got a heart to it, nigga. Are you swore no, you won't go fold them. Are you swore no, they have to count on you. All that pressure they bestowed on. Pray my son never face what I go through. Yeah. Get it, don't wear the And if it is. From the Nile down, stakes is huge Snakes and fakes, straddling the gate It's too late to choose The violent visions gave victory Paid your dues Motivated, demonstrated, elevated views Truths don't die, we multiply I ain't make the rules Self-medicate, meditate, and celebrate the blues Neighborhood, roller coaster, You can take the cruise, I'm good Blue laces, suede, Puma's favorite shoes Jesus to the generation Should you never save me on my babies Most beautiful gift Puto ever gave me such a precious life, who decides price? I couldn't feel the slide twice, cause they crucified Christ. Are you swore no, they have to count on you? All that pressure they bestowed on Pray my son never face what I go through. Can't call family, no, 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 no Got cross by my closest, I ain't gon' show too much emotion, no, no, no. <laughs> My low one call my phone, I pick up right away I know I'm living wrong, if it's the right way I was too busy trying to get heavy, I was lightweight A lot of niggas here came in with me, ain't on my side today I've been trying to live with some of these songs in case I die today Every time I need something to lean on, I drank that spot away So it don't feel how it feels to me Cause I've been through it and it did what it did to me I trust in you and I was beer from me That's my little partner, you do that beer from me And I ain't never jumped in my feelings out here You know you wanna fold them Are you swore no that I could count on you All that pressure that you stole them Pray my son never face what I do Net Puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. 
yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. All that. It's point blank. Do no subliminal dissing. When I listen, I can tell you never been on no mission. Sticking to the script. Don't care if I offend you. Neighborhood crib. The marathon I overlook my team. competition. Never seeing him. I done train my mind that I'm going. You could tell by how I walk. Talk, I'm a boss. A east side millionaire. Hold me what you thought. My life is a movie. They can't get close to me. They mad cause they can't be. I'm everything that they wanna be, yeah.